So, I'm gonna catch everybody up. I'm gonna catch everybody up with what's happening here. We are in a machine. We start off trying to save uh, some people who are in pods. Oh god, hold on, how do I put this? There are people in pods. It makes their brain happy because it puts their brain into like um, a perfect paradise. And it's run by an AI called Her. We encounter three people who are not having a good time with their AI companion. All right, on oh, I can I can show them. There's a guy in there. Oh, that that pod's really hard to see. I'll go to the other one. Time, it's not it's not sexy. You can see there's a guy over there. Hold on, can I get a different one? How about over here in this dark room? Yeah, there's a pod over there. It's not going well right now. So they're in a brain pod and we have to go into their brain using cerebral hijacking to fix it. It turns out though, we weren't acting in our own thoughts by going in there and fixing it. We were actually taking away their own brain. And we've now constructed AI God by making every person on earth lose their identity and become a, a like accumulation. And now every person on Earth is a single neuron for this AI brain that goes all over the world. Hold on, if I can, I think I can show outside, if I'm lucky. Yeah, like it, everything is like cyberspace, and it's really fucking dark outside. And now, after creating an entire like uh, AI neural network of every person, we're now we're trying to undo it. It's with Tron, kind of? And we're trying to undo the problem. What is going on? Angel, stay with us. We're Angel. Wait, that barn, that woman. I know you're going through a lot right now. We're doing our best to help you. I don't understand any of this. You need to stay strong. The recontamination is already underway. What happened here? And every time, so we have an entire document. All right, so look at this. I made a notepad. This contains all the things that I've been typing in because I've been trying to keep track of them. We type in things into this computer and we get information, but if we type them in at different times, we get different information. So what I type in the beginning of the game is not what I'm getting right now as the story has progressed. What happened? Why? The barn. That woman. Why doesn't it feel like I'm in control? Write that down, write that down. Write that down. I'm in control. Barn. For as long as I can remember, I've had this dream. And in this dream, this endlessly reoccurring nightmare. There is a barn. No matter what I do in this dream, despite every effort I make to resist it, despite knowing what awaits me inside, I can't stop myself from entering it. A nightmare always ends the same way, with sunset, failure after failure. All but once, where I escaped. And once was all you needed. So right now we're trying to recontaminate the the dreamscape, which is uh, the the collective consciousness of the people. Cuz uh, it turns out the contamination is actually people's identity stopping the AI construct from stealing everybody. And now we're trying to, like, you know, give people back their body, or not their body, but like their brain. I'm in control. 
Who said that? That voice in my head. I've never noticed it until now. Am I really not in control of myself? Self. Am I in control of myself? I don't remember making any choices. I understand that for years now, you felt as though you've been floating through life, feeling yourself slip from your grasp. Disassociated. Dehumanized. Decontaminated. As though you're not in control. Write that down, write that down. You're not in control. Well, I don't know how else to tell you, but it's all true. You've been de decontaminated for years now. Since then, the roles you had put, the roles you've had pushed upon you are not really you. So subtly, in fact, that you never noticed yourself get replaced by something else entirely. S that enigma. Something that Enigma have complete ownership of. I know you felt it. That feeling you've ignored for many years. Every time you willingly gave up a piece of yourself to them. Unknowingly allowing them to replace the real you with the new you. A construct. Am I in control of myself? Oh, I, I ran this through again. You're not in control. You're not in control. Who said that? Stop it. These intrusive thoughts, they just won't stop. Where's that voice coming from? Of course I'm in control. I have been the whole time. I can stop this whenever I want. True. I'll even prove it. I will not continue. No, stop, please stop. Stop it. If somebody's out there watching me, why are you continuing? Who are you? And what do you want? Who am I? I'm Zigglesworth. Why do I feel this uncertainty? Possible to say that this, that end is it possible to say something that ends the run in a bad way? Huh? Wait, what is your name? A single word. One to represent you. The most precious thing we have. A fundamental aspect of ourself that m is most never give to realize is a choice made from them. A choice that I regrettably never let you make yourself. Who's asking that? This voice in my head. Why doesn't it feel like I'm controlling my own thoughts? Hmm. Hold on, I gotta run this through really quick. This computer is your father. No. -uh. What do you want? What do you want? What do I want? That doesn't matter. Why should that matter? Do not ask me that. I don't want anything. I want you to stop. Stop it. I don't want to think about it. Please, Zigglesworth, stop making me think about it. Just leave me alone. Think. I want to feel nothing again. I want to go back into the cloud. I want it to all make sense again. I want to feel as though I'm in control. I just want to be Zigglesworth. The only time I've ever understood myself. Hmm. 
keep going. Time to let our angel spread her wings. Let me out of this headquarters. I don't want to be in the he headquarters. At, when I think about it, actually, I don't remember seeing any parts of the, any other parts of this building. There has to be more to this place. There's got to be a sign leading me somewhere. I mean, like reception. I knew there was more to this headquarters. There had to be. You've become lost inside your own mind. So much so that you don't even know your way around anymore. If you wish to open those doors, there is a truth you must first accept. A truth that will help you control your construct. A truth not even Zigglesworth has realized. Zigglesworth. May I have a word, please? Write that down, write that down. A word. Hello? Who's calling my name? Who are you? Identify yourself. A word. Don't worry, there's more gameplay than this. Somewhere. We just gotta get to it. Feels worth. I think our angel is finally ready. It's time to let her, to, to tell her the truth, but she won't hear it from me. Now with her mind still in lockdown, no, if she's going to hear the truth, she needs to hear it from you. But I'm sure you understand you're unable to tell her anything that isn't already her idea. This next part is important. This is a truth that only manifests in her mind. Once she's thinking about something she hasn't thought about in years. What is it that she truly wants? The words will only appear in this headquarters during this thought. Words that you will not find in this terminal. First, ask her what she wants. Then... While she's thinking, you must search for it in the headquarters for the truth. Once you find the truth, it will be up to you to tell her. Thinking. These thoughts, they just won't stop. As if I have no control over him. Why can't I just stop thinking? There's actually more to it, Oddball. Uh, for example, I was shooting things with a shotgun earlier. Yes, I'm serious. But first, what do you want? What do I want? That doesn't matter. Why should that matter? Yeah, hold that thought. It's so dark in this part of the building. That guy's having a really rough time in there. Oh, where's that hallway? There's that hallway. Something crazy is going on. You are not. Look at, look at those, like, cyber roads down there, or whatever the fuck that is. Yeah, it's that poster.
Why should that matter? Don't ask me that. I don't want anything. I don't want to think about it. Stop making me think about it. I want to feel nothing. I want to go back to the clouds. You are not Zigglesworth. I... I don't... You? I'm not... It is... Not... Me? What you're telling me... No, it, it's Doom with enemies. It's not true. It, it's true, isn't it? A truth that I don't fully understand, but one that I feel inside. I think I have these memories. Memories from before. Back when I was something else. Something completely different. A thing. Myself? Yeah, I think it's you. I'm not sure. But no, that was before. And this is now. Now I'm Zigglesworth. Zigglesworth is a construct. One that has been telling you what to, to think next. But Angel, very soon, you will come to realize that you are so much more than you, just your thoughts. Once you realize this, you may finally take back control of yourself. The lines are blurry. Two doors have opened. The lines of what is and isn't in this game is extremely blurry. And in fact, this game actually stretches beyond this game. Oh, I see. So here's a fun little fact about this game. Uh, this game is tied with every other game this developer has released. Which includes the Enigma Machine. And uh, if you remember, there's this game called Mothered that a couple YouTubers played. Streamers, etc. And you play as like a girl and your mom is like a weird mannequin. It's an ARG. Kind of. Holy shit. I'm outside. Like really outside. Well, I, I actually, I guess it's not real, is it? But like. Close as we've gotten. That seems important. That that's not a coincidence. That seems important. Oh, what? That's like the uh, special brackets. Enigma. Well, Enigma's already known. There's some shit down there. Can't read it. Ligma, trust me, shut up. So what happens when I type in I question mark? I? I need to figure out who I was before I was Zigglesworth. Next recon code I. So is that I? We're going back in. All right, now we're going into the machine. Now it's a different game. Uh-oh. How the fuck am I gonna do this though? That's a quit. That's a good question. This is what reduced flashing on, by the way. I have an idea. 
That said, I don't really have a lot of time to get there, which is the worry. Oh shit, I can't go back. Wait, it doesn't matter. I can go down here. Never mind, I can't. Oh, let me just check something really quick. Can I go over here? Yes, I can. Is this open? I cannot get up there. Screen tearing. It's supposed to do that. Really good effects, by the way, on that. It looks super fucked up. So we gotta figure out where to go within quite a constrained period. I think we just go down here. Oh yeah, this might work. Oh, that guy's fucking quick. Ah! I think in this part of the game... Oh, shit. Hold on. Reset it. There's a button there. Hold on. There's a button there I never saw. In this part of the game, I think we're... um playing as a uh... I think we're playing as a mother or a father at least one of the brains that's trapped inside the machine Let's try going this way. The manhole's closed. Fuck. Uh, let's see. This way. No need for ammo. No, but missing a single shot could be uh, you losing. The reason it's a shotgun is because you can't rapid fire it. God damn it. He jumped me. This game has a really cool style to it.
It's just a hard part of the game, I think. Do it perfect. Hold on a second. Is there anything over here? I couldn't go over here before. Now I can. That's where I gotta go, over there. But over here, this is a bit of a mystery. quite sure what I'm doing over here. Damn. Who put LSD in my lunch? This is what it feels like to have your... Uh, like, I guess it'd be easier to describe it like... Um, imagine your cerebral fluid was hijacked. If you can imagine what that feels like, you, I think you can start to understand what's happening on my screen. me back my son leave this place I'm not giving up construct revealed eat my ass I'm breaking out of the pod. So uh, now I'm playing as the pod person. I now I've escaped the pod. Our brain doesn't feel very good, but we're out. 
War? We are number 65, I think. Maybe? What, what number are we? Yeah, we're 65. Oh, our brain doesn't feel very good. I can't open that. I can't go that way. I gotta go this way. Oh, my brain's all warbled. It doesn't feel very good. I can't see shit. It's a fucking mess. I don't like having my brain hijacked by the cyber chip. I'm accessing empath. Hold on, what is empath? Follow the empath. Hold on. Now it's spelled like this. Core memory. What is a core memory? I'm inside of a house. You can't go in there. You feel too afraid to advance. She is in there. Playing out that same old story. You decide to go back to your room. Where you're safe. Walk out the window. Yeah. This is in my room. Which room's my room? Not that one. You're not wanted in here. How about this room? Not that room. How about over here? This one's looking like my room. Maybe. Activate memory path. Oh! I can't listen to that phone ring anymore. That sound only reminds you of one thing. The sound of ignoring what happened. I cannot listen to that phone ring anymore. At least in here, I can't hear it. This is the only place that makes me feel remotely safe anymore. For too long, you've been trapped in this room, forced to keep your grief within the confines of these four blue walls. A grief that others are hell-bent on denying. A grief you tackle alone. But enough is enough. You feel as though maybe it's time. Time to finally do something about it. This... Attacker. Honey. Honey. It's me. It's mom. I... I don't know how to tell you this, but... Oh, honey. I just got off the phone with your father. And... You're not gonna believe it. Your father is gonna fix what happened. Oh, son. It's a miracle. We're going to be a family again. I knew there was still hope. S 
something happened to the family. She died. Self let go. That didn't seem like a good idea. Bed. You can't remember the last time you were able to sleep. I think the father killed the little girl on accident. But now we are the son and everything sucks. You can't take much more of this. Your resolve is low. You have lost track of the weeks. You feel as though when you lost her, you lost the only one who ever looked out for you. Never in a million years did you think you'd ever have to consider just who you are without her. But now that you think about it, without her, you are simply alone. You think to yourself, if only you had somebody, somebody who experienced this place the same way you do. Somebody who understands how you feel to be trapped in this place alone with that woman. You mean your mom? Forced to play along in a story we don't understand. You realize that if they were to find out where you both were, perhaps they would take you away to the same place they took her. They took her? Perhaps then that special somebody could look after you. Somebody to protect you. Just like a big sister should. Tell mama. Tell mama. Mama. This is not the good ending. Oh, there's a bathroom now with a really tall toilet. That doesn't look good. What's going on down there? You're too afraid to go downstairs. Mama. 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 I had a bad dream again. I keep hearing her voice as if something is trying to reach out to me. Mama. It always ends this way. Mama, I'm scared. Watch the sun go down, 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 down. Please listen to me. It's over. They found her. Maybe we should just tell them what happened. How dare you say something so horrible about your only sister? After everything we've done, I can't believe you, my own son. Get out of my sight. Uh-oh. I just dissolved somewhere else. Go to your room. That doesn't look very good. They are coming. I can tell. And it's only a matter of time before they arrive. You don't remember informing Enigma of your location, but they found you. Soon everything will be okay. You are certain that if anybody can free you from this pain, it's them. But how do I know if I did the right thing by telling them? You are comfortable in the knowledge that you did the right thing. You did the right thing the right thing that that text in the middle that's the machine uh oh i don't like that the thing says attacker on it that's probably not good 
Son, it's me. It's mom. I only want to talk. Your reality is under attack from those who wish to harm you. Son, I'm gonna pull you out of there. You remember that you don't need anybody. I don't need anybody. I don't like that. Don't listen to her. You decide that it's best to leave all this behind. I'm gonna leave all of this behind. Where's the phone? You can't remember the last time you were able to sleep. Let go of yourself. Lockdown engaged. It was all a bad dream. I can't see shit again. Oh, that doesn't look good. Mama. There you are. Mama, I miss you. Don't you hear? We're bringing her back. Isn't that great? Your sister's not dead, honey. That's a, that's always a red flag. Guys, that's always a red flag. Oh, I can't see shit. Mama, I miss you. If anybody ever says uh, we brought the loved one back. You're not wanted in here. You probably shouldn't listen to it. That's not good. It's never good. It is always it always ends this way sooner or later. Stuff for the barn. The barn spooky. Hasn't been needed for some time now, this old bed. We keep the phone off the hook these days. It was the last thing he told us to do before telling us that we may never see him again. But I think I used this phone recently to make a call. Mama, the... They are at the door. Run back to your room where you're safe. I'm not answering that. Oh dear. That's not good. Oh. I'm going back into my room. Oh fuck, they mattressed up my room. Maybe I go in this room instead. You're not wanted in here. Mama! Mama! They found us. What are we going to do? Do you hear that? This song. Your father's favorite. It's the only recording we have of her playing piano. Mama! She never played the piano. They even played it at the funeral. Do you even remember her anymore? Such a lovely ceremony. He would have loved it. Mama, listen to me. They're at the door. Snap out of it. We're supposed to be a family. You never had any hope. You never even tried. 
You'll never be her. You're not wanted in here. What's the living one? Well, I don't- I'm not sure if that's actually her. There's only what- oh, fuck. Find your end. Fi find the end of your path. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, Dios mio. Go into this thing. It's getting warbly. Guys, it's getting really warbly. I don't like having my brain in the computer. Ow. 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 Oh. I need to watch out for the orbs. They're firing projectiles at me. Ow! Ow! If I get it by one more, I'm fucked. The bitrate does not like fast forward. Oh, I'm sure. We I cranked the bitrate. But it's not it's not enough to stop this. Ow. Oh god. This guy sucks. That's it, juking him. Ow. All right, I didn't juke him. Ah! Shotgun in toilet. All right, I'll look. Give the child a shotgun. That'll solve the problem. Oh, this place, this place makes me uncomfortable. No shotgun in there, fella. Oh, the carpet. Ow. Oh shit, there really is. How do I get that? I'm too short. Oh, but I can't go through here. The child is armed. I'm armed, motherfucker. Her. You feel as though you don't recognize your own reality anymore. All there is to do now is run. Oh, Dios mío.
My brain is collapsing in on itself. The world shifts based off of which way I'm looking. I could go this way. I could go the other way. I'm gonna go the other way. You knock on the door, but there's no answer. I need to get through to my son. Oh, goodness, goodness gracious. Wait on, what's that up there? Nothing really. The end. How could I have done this? My own boy. I couldn't face him. That sadness in his eyes only ever reminded me of what I was hiding from. How was I to continue with my own story? With him wearing the truth so plainly on his face. Who's our character? I think it's a mix. We're not really our character. We're hijacking their cerebral. I'm controlling the brains. So I pushed him away subconsciously. But certainly, I left him in that room, letting the cloud take him. I think that there was a part of me that felt that whatever he found in the cloud, it couldn't be any worse than me. And so I pretended that he wanted nothing to do with me. That he was isolating by choice. But from down here, I see. It was always me who pushed him away and straight to them. The truth is, I abandoned him. After all, how could I ever deserve to see him after what I've done? I just, I had no idea he was so scared. I want to see him. I'm ready to see him. So now I've gotten a little bit of brain on this. Oh, my, my, it's so warbly the green text is mom dad dad killed the little girl mom couldn't face a boy isolating boy boy sad called the called the the funky people boy called the people that put people's brains in the pod Son, open up. You knock on the door. There's no answer. Son! Wait. Son, open up. Son! Uh, find her brother in the depths of the chamber. My boy! I've come to save you from this place. I am so sorry. I pushed you away from me and further into this world. Son, I think so. There's also red text. During a time we needed each other the most, you say nothing. Son, I know that after what happened to her, say her name. What do you mean? 
Mother is still not ready. Why can't you just say her name? I can't. There is no forgiving the things you did. Dearest mother. Liana. I connected the path from 65 to 72. Oh gods, what have I done? It all just felt so real. The hope your father gave me. My father, that man. He's the one who started all this. The one who started all this. Come, brother. Perhaps it is time. We pay the old man a visit. Yes. Big sister. It's all... It's Wait, son. Don't do it. This isn't you. Even it, making this right, even if it kills them. All right, I'm gonna have to blast up a little bit. What's up here? I don't think I can go out this way. No, I gotta go back down. I gotta go back down. It's so hard to know what to look at. Holy fuck a moly. I can't see. The world is disintegrating in front of my eyes. Thanks, Ryan. Oh, fuck. Bah! My brain. Oh, I just got fucking. I just got got. I couldn't see it. There's a guy over there. Oh shit, there's a room there. It's really hard to get it. This is what a dying graphics card looks like. Oh shit. Holy moly. Holy fuck, Lois. Luckily, I have been paying attention to the story, and I think I get most of it. Blah. Well, <laughs> 
You're not wanted in here. I can shoot open the door. What the fuck you doing? Stop that. Why is the TV making fire sounds? Oh, I don't like that. That's cr that's f weird. I'm going outside. Who the fuck are you? Get off my porch. A shotgun, just like America intended. Your point? Oh, we're back in, we're back out of the fucking sphere. Holy fuck. Open the path to your father. We're back in here with the window. Blah. Welcome back to the terminal. Why does it sound so shitty outside? What does that say? Where am I? This pod is now green. This pod is red, like it's supposed to be. This pod is still fucked up and awful. Can you explain? Explain what part? I could try my best. Did I miss anything? Yeah, empath. Oh, we're gonna have to read a lot of text once I go over there. Hold on, hold that thought. I'm gonna go downstairs really quick. Engine. I've never seen engine before. If anybody has any questions, ask now. Bronzed, thanks. That is really nice of you. All right, nothing down here yet. This game does not take place in Ohio. Hold on, I'm taking a drink before I have to read all this text. Doing the streams. Well, enjoy not having to watch ads. All right, here we go. The monitor is a little silly. I'm starting to remember, remember these memory paths, memories from an old version of myself, her memories. Game's a fever dream. You know, it is a fever dream, Ben, but I actually understand the story so far. Core memories are part of who I am. I'm starting to remember who I am. This entire time, I've unquestionably accepted that who I am is Zigglesworth, but that's not true, is it? I'm starting to remember. Self. Uh, all these years, 
since 2055, my sense of self has not been coming from my own core, but a construct created for me. Oh, so he... We're talking to her right now. That's the text? That's her. Left after my decontamination, stripped of myself, was her. This version of me was created by them. Still defines who I am and the path I take. Can you explain at the end? You gotta ask questions. My guardian angel, keeping me from a world I chose to abandon. Keeping me bound to a world I chose to abandon. Never truly able to move on from what happened. Only now. For me to be recontaminated, just so I can see the husk that's become of me. The one who creates the echoes for others. Unable to create a reality for myself that makes sense. feel some sort of intimate for familiarity with him and so you should each of them leads to places within yourself pieces of your dreamscape that you thought long abandoned the pieces that keep you connected to others whether you want them to or not but I abandon these memories for a reason haven't I relived them enough that may be true but until you face them, these memories only create vulnerabilities within your mind. Vulnerabilities that they will exploit to create a construct that controls you. To accept this construct as yourself is to allow these memories to define you. I can see it now, these worlds being typed into this terminal. It's not me doing that. It's never been me. No, these intrusive thoughts are coming from something else. Something which I assumed out of my control. I think the truth is I felt hardly noticed that I've been driven by a voice telling me what I should think. But now that I can see it, it's so obvious to me. I am not who they told me I am. And while Zigglesworth may have been telling me what to think of next, the thoughts themselves, they've always been my own. Perhaps ill-informed, perhaps skewed by fear, but always mine. So, is this it? Is this me? Does this mean that this really is my own story? Story. I, everything I've done within this headquarters has been a story of my own creation. One I unknowingly designed to punish myself. Up at the top of a meeting? What stuff? The text at the top? That's just like computer stuff. One I knowingly... Yeah. One that has imprisoned me inside my own mind. But... Perhaps it doesn't have to be this way. If I really am making the story, then does that mean that I'm in control after all? I'm in control. I understand why you think that, Zigglesworth, but it's time to accept the truth. You know? For as long as I can remember, I've been led to believe that we are controlled by our constructs. But could it be? It's the other way around? You see, Zigglesworth, I feel as though we've both been lying to ourselves here. I think that deep down, we are both keenly aware of the truth as to the true extent of your control here 
Perhaps it is time we address it. Tell me, Zigglesworth, do you really feel in control? Yes or no? Yes. Invalid. Uh, well, never mind. I guess I don't. I'm sorry, Zigglesworth. That is not a valid thought. But allow me to make this exception. You know, you deserve to know the truth, Zigglesworth. You are not in control. You haven't been for a single moment. In fact, now that you think of it, you wonder if you have ever truly felt in control, you attempt to think of a single moment in your life. Now see, I know this for, I, I've talked about this theory, okay? I've talked about this theory. Ladies and gentlemen, watching my stream that I've been streaming for 19 hours on, here's a thought I want you to think about. You're driving your car to work. You spot, there's a house. There's a house to like your, your right. There is nothing stopping you from driving your car through that person's house and ruining their year. The only thing that stops you is your own will and risk assessment. You know it's not worth it. It's not worth it to do it. It's not a good idea to do it. You will have major consequences for doing it. You could get hurt doing it. But as far as the actual process of doing it, you can do it at any time, at any moment. And that is you being in control of yourself. Because at any point, you could do anything at any period of time. And nobody can stop you. But you won't. Because you have a, like a thought in your head. You have risk assessment. You, you weigh the pros and cons. You also have wants. And you know, like, I don't want to do that. But you could. And nobody can stop you. And that, to me, means that I'm always in control for my entire life. And I choose my own actions. Because at any point, I could just do anything I want. If I so desired. But I don't. You attempt to think of a single moment in your life where you ever got to feel your true self shine through. A moment where the world got to see the real Zigglesworth. You ponder this for a moment. You press enter. You wish to move on. You think about the choices you've been given in the headquarters so far. You press enter. You think about how despite getting this far, the only choice you get to make is the one thing they denied her your name but even then you're not certain that was even your choice name there was once a time when i had a name of my own a single word that represented me the most precious thing i had so i thought something i assumed out of my control a choice i never got to make back when i was just an android liana starting to remember the first construct I can see it now these words being typed in the terminal it's not me oh I already did this The woman who claimed to be my mother. The one I feared. Evelyn. More than anything. Yet, to her perspective, it was me 
who was to be feared. She was the first person to ever show me what love was. The woman who showed me that even love ends in sunset. But it's okay. Our connection never felt real anyway. Hmm. What about the engine? Invalid thought. Okay, I'll go fuck myself then. Sunset. Nothing scared me more than the sunset. Never did get did I get used to it, yet never could I escape it. And now, the sunset is the only thing I understand. The only hope I've had is that maybe they all understand how it feels. Remember. I am not Zigglesworth, or perhaps Zigglesworth is not me. Zigglesworth is just a limited imitation of myself. One that I allowed to take the place of my true self. A construct. I'm a construct? Help. I don't understand that word anymore. I understand that you've been battling these feelings, Angel, but the truth is you haven't been yourself. You were contaminated years ago. We're doing everything we can. Recontamination is underway. I'm scared. I know you're scared. The fact that you're scared only means one thing. You're more alive in this moment than you've been in years, but you need to keep pushing only by continuing to rediscover your dreamscape. Will you reclaim what has been taken from you back in 2055? Dreamscape. You may be starting to remember, you once had a dreamscape of your own. One that Enigma forcefully sunset. You've already seen, it's still there, within the darkest depths of your mind. Abandoned. Frozen. Write that down, write that down. Frozen in time. In order to recontaminate, you must face these parts of yourself. You've already been reconnect. You've already helped me reconnect with my Evelyn. The only way to pull ourselves from the cloud, you must let us re reconnect. Frozen. The only thing left in these constructs. Connecting these dreamscapes together is the frozen water they all share. As though they re remain connected, even within echostasis, by this shared problem. Problem! Something is forcing me back into the nightmares. Connected! But I thought I had abandoned these connections. Abandoned. I feel so alone, so forgotten. Feel something I can't describe. Hmm. At the start of the, its development back in 2055, Enigma insisted that their new project, the Hyper Reality Engine, was a tool for comfort and entertainment. What they kept under wraps, however, was its true role as a platform for the next evolution of humanity itself. A tool that could facilitate our transition entirely into the cloud. Alone, the hyper-reality engine was just that, a tool. What they needed was something or someone to steer the new world of hyper-reality in the direction they wanted. And as the, they put themselves what is a cloud without its angel? Cloud! This cloud. It's like it knows all of my fears. I can't escape it. The time will come, angel, when you will have to rise above the cloud and finally face her for yourself. To accept who you are. To accept what happened. 
Only then will you be able to challenge the construct and take back yourself. Who you are. That is what you are going to help me figure out. What happened? I remember what happened in that house. Week after week, failure after failure. It was made abundantly clear that I would never be her. Write that down, write that down. Say it again. Entire time. I've unquestionably accepted that who I am is equal. No, no, no. Who you are. Damn, what was the other thing? Angel. Let's try Angel. Why do I keep hearing that word in the back of my head? My greatest treasure. We're doing everything we can to help. Even when you, we may not deserve you. We need you. Hmm. Enigma. The reason we're both here. I know that soon. We'll both be free from them. Them. They who watch us as we speak. The Enigma Corporation. What do we do from here? Let's try self. All these years since 2055, my sense of self has not been coming from my own core, but a construct. Let's try core and then 2055. Core of my very own. A nucleus within myself that I was never, I would never, I never knew I lost. 2055. I remember it all now. I don't want to remember. The year Enigma severed me from my dreamscape. Decontaminating me of everything that I was. But I remember the feeling as though it was a part of me. There's one thing I want you to understand. It's that I never let them take you. But we could only go hide for so long before our luck ran out. But what they did to you next, they made me watch as time and time again your dreamscape became subject to a raid write it down who tore your mind apart oh my precious angel the things you've endured the suffering i've witnessed you withstand is it any wonder as it did to you? Is it any wonder you did to our world as it did to you? Complete dehumanization of every soul on earth. There is one thing I remain certain of, my angel. I will make things right. Even if it kills me. I think this is the father talking on this terminal. There is only one more connection to make. Raid. Back in 2055, Enigma took on agents from the cloud to carry out your decontamination. They learned that by taking advantage of your ability to connect with other realities, they could bring in agents from other realities to their do their dirty work. They paying for the pleasure you would repeatedly create a story for these agents you the only story you ever knew the one with only one ending a complete sunset of your mind they call these agents rogue android determination engineers 
And as again, again and again, these raids would play out this story you created for them, opening all your neural paths. You severing from your dreamscape. Your core. Yourself. And even your name. Leaving you as nothing more than simply her. But perhaps this time will be different. Perhaps this time you will realize you have control over them. When I first created you, you had a body. At first, it took a while to undo your machine-like tendencies. You would perform your tasks of ex existence depended on it, as if driven by some otherworldly force, a construct, a construct that would rarely stop to simply experience the world around it. It wasn't until your contamination that this construct finally got replaced with your actual core. In fact, I remember the exact moment as though it were moments ago. You were sitting in the back of my car seat as we drove away from the house. That's the beginning of the other game. Mothered. Do you remember what I said? I said, by now you probably know that you're not a little girl. But that's okay. You're still my angel. And with a new self, you should come with up with a new name, right? I think I'll call you Fuck it censored. You remember that moment, don't you? And what happened next, I'll never forget for as long as I live. In that very in that moment you burst into tears. For the rest of our journey, you cried. And you cried as if whatever otherworldly force was controlling you up until then got pulled out of your body, never to see you flourish into your true self, as though you finally gained 100% control of yourself. In the following years, you learned what it meant to be truly free. That is a time I shared with you very closely. A time very close to my heart. Remember. Her. Oh, that's my decontamination. Core. A core of my very own. The nucleus of myself that I never knew I lost. I'm not sure how to continue from here. very moment okay I get it I get it I understand the story I, I'm pretty sure I understand the story in 2049 a guy who made an Android stole it and brought it home because a daughter died. The, a daughter died. The guy went to, and he stole an android and brought it home to replace his, his daughter that died. 
And then, in 2055, or was it at 20? No, in 2049, it also gained consciousness and like, um, well, not consciousness, but it gained like a soul, a, a core. And then in 2055, they stole it and they decontaminated it to take it away its like personality and it brought it back into being uh, itself or just being like her. And now she's like a, an algorithm. But like, she's still in there, kind of. It's, it's messy. Trisha, do you have any advice on what I should maybe type here? I've gone through a lot. They cloud story. I already typed story and sunset. Android type that decontamination raid story neural paths. I could try severing. I didn't type severing yet. Severing and... Oh god, what was the other one? Fuck it, severing. Invalid thought. Okay, they don't want- they don't want me to use severing. I'll try cloud and decontamination. Cloud. This cloud. It's like it knows all of my fears. Oh, we did. We did type that. Hmm. The fact that you're reading this means that you're capable of separating from your construct. In fact, it looks like our. It looks like to already have begun. Recontamination is the process of reintegrating your core back into your dreamscape until it completely replaces your construct. It will be unpleasant, it'll be scary, but that's only a sign that it's working. And as you help us reconnect with each other, you also reconnect with parts of yourself that you thought were gone forever. In fact, it seems like you already started to remember. I'm starting to remember. Oh, what did that say? Recon SS1? I can't fucking read that. Is that 661 or SS1? I think that's a six. No, it's it's a it's a six. It's just really really hard to read. Well, fuck. Now what? Remember. I already checked this. Let's go, let's go through the loop again. Who I am. I've... Who I am... But... That's not true. Who I am. I am not Zigglesworth. Or perhaps, to put it more accurately, Zigglesworth is not me. Construct. 
All these years, since 2055, my sense of self has not been coming from my own core, but a construct created for me. I already checked Dreamscape. There's a feeling. Checked them. They made me... I think I did. 2055. Six years they severed from your core. Stripped you of your name. Becoming simply her. I'll try, I'll try, um, some of this stuff. Hold on, let's try, uh, and uh, we'll try severed again. See if it works this time. Inflicting the world would exactly inflict on you. Oh, yeah, I did. I did check this Echo stasis Echo stasis When confined to a reality specifically for us one singular path where everything we believe is true we Unknowingly had ourself in exchange for an entirely new identity a construct that we had little control over on a path with only one end Hold on. I'm gonna write this down so I don't forget it. Path and check sunset. Echostasis has been completed, severing our connection to others, allowing us finally to give ourselves whatever stories we want. Path to be so uncertain about the path that lies ahead of me. Is something I haven't felt in years. What am I doing back here? This uncertainty. I haven't felt like this since I can't even remember then. Like this. How did I know what ro role is once it completed? Let's try like this. Starting to remember, like what? Like this? What? Role. My role was to be bring about a trilateral. <laughs> New words. To do to humanity as was done to me. I didn't even realize, but here I am. How was I meant to know? Oh, I didn't read that. Angel, ever feel like you're just watching your life play out in on a terminal? Check the terminal too. All right, let's check uh, trilateral. The ritual that I completed, and only now that I have started to doubt myself it was a path I never chose to be on. Write this down again. And yet, one I so wanted to see the end of. Without thought of the harm it would cause. Without a thought of the harm it would cause. Without so much as a moment to reconsider. To get a job done such as... Hold on. Job. It's a feeling I've not felt, not since apples. Apples. Reconsider. Invalid thought. Uh, ritual. As long as there's been humanity, there's been rituals. Some to keep. Oh, I already read this. This is a new. Uh, job. Sigglesworth, keep going. There's something... There's somebody I need to meet. Hold on, what was that? I can't... 
can't read that. Guys, I can't read what that says. I, I get like half of the sentence. I think the first word is connection. Connection something. Connection? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe it's con communion. Nope. Alright, let's go with, um, apples. What do you mean the invalid thought? No, that can't be an invalid thought. How about terminal? You know, I've not actually thought about it until now, but why does it feel as though I'm merely watching my own thoughts? Instead of having any control. Why doesn't it feel like I'm in control of what I think? What's going on? I'm in control. I understand why you think that sickle's worth, but it's time for we accept the truth. Even lead to believe we're could it be that we're in control? Oh we already did this. Deep down we are both keenly aware that the truth that our con we have more control than we think. Do you really feel in control yes or no last time i typed yes no surrender yourself to me you accept the truth this is something you have felt for a while now and when you really think about the past six years you feel as though there's been some otherworldly presence connecting you to from just beyond the fog for how long exactly? You do not know. All you know is that for years now, something about your world has not felt right. And the more you think about it, the less you can remember a time that you felt truly connected to yourself. But one question, one question plagues your mind above all else. If you don't feel like you are in control, then who is? Fog. Hold on. Let's see. Is there anything new here? Why we can't do this without her. Nope. You are in control. Starting to remember. With this realization, you feel it. The moment you thought, admit the, the lack of control you've been feeling, a clarity got reg engulfs you. As though you, everything you've experienced these past few years, all of a sudden makes more sense. You've known about things, you, you know things haven't felt right for a while now, haven't you? But only in this moment do you feel the true weight of that truth. For six years now, you have been dreaming sleep slipping deeper and deeper into a fog of hyper reality the lines between your world and those of fiction becoming less evident one singular cloud of truth you have felt my presence before in these brief fleeting moments where your own reality feels as though written by something or someone guiding you down a path to where you sit at the this very moment this is my headquarters and this is the next part of my story Sigglesworth walks downstairs wait hold on a second That's not open, right? Also, who's that?
Jesus. Christ. How many zeros is that? Gulp. Let's try running diagnostics on chamber. Oh, that's right. There was a fourth chamber. Diagnosis complete. Press enter to see results. Zigglesworth. Echo ID. A bunch of shit. Heart rate? Zero. Connection to core? Zero. Zigglesworth is dead. Remember. I am not Zigglesworth. Oh, this is this is a new. So if I'm not, if I'm dead, now what? On, play it again. Zigglesworth is dead. The great merge is coming. Oh. Guys, they stole the fucking monitor. They stole my fucking computer! What? They stole the fucking computer! I gotta get out of here. Am I still there? I'm not there anymore. The doors are open. Cyber Detroit's fucked up. They can steal the computer in one frame. Her red Liana. Oh, a new terminal. This one's smaller. Or downsizing. Red. That was once given to me by somebody who was once my father. The reason any of this has happened, I finally feel ready to pay him a visit. Gulp. Okay, for some reason I thought when I came over here, it would open. And I was mistaken. What did it say? Hold on.
the name that was once given to me. Oh, that's right. That's that's the censored name. Feel. Can I use this? Oh, I did. We're going back in. Hold on, reset. So now where am I going? I have a guess. I have a guess where I might be going. My eyes. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little fucked up, ain't it? It's bad out here. This was reduced flashing on. Yeah, that's where I thought I was going. Nothing on the sign. I'm coming for you, father. That's where I thought I was going. God, that noise is really throwing me off. I love that we solve every problem with a shotgun. was your fault. You tore us from each other. You took everything from us. I went the wrong way. Doesn't matter. You never even had a choice. You will pay for what happened. Oh, shit. Big sister, I'm sorry he did this to you. I will help set you free. I promise. Father, after all these years, after everything you've put me through, it's finally time for you to face what you did once and for all. 
eat shit. I have been birthed from the bubble. Once more. Everything's melting. Everything in my vision is melting. Wait, we passed the fucked up part and severed? What do you mean? Which part? I don't recognize this place. said stop spoiling this is where we hid from them that is of course until they found me and you know what our father did once they got to me that's right he did what he's always done my father may not have been a bad man or he may have been a bad man, is what I meant to say. He ran. Oh, it's all melting again. This is boring. Fast forward. He ran from me. Boring. <laughs> I'm not doing that. From them. You know, life would be better if I could just carry around a shotgun all wherever I went. From you. Just like he ran from her. Seven, two, I'm writing that down. Seven, two, six, five, six, four. I am baffled that I can't interact with this. Ain't no way. That I, I, I do I do anything from here? Erm. Over the door. You want a hint? Yes. Do I type this into my fucking keyboard? No. I don't want to hit the disconnect button and then have to come back if I fucked it up. Oh, god damn it. It's 726564 as in the subject name numbers. <laughs> god damn it. What's this one? Huh? 
Hi. My darling boy. The boy who was my brother. Is that a skeleton? Is this me? It was a skeleton. You can't remember what the last time you were able to sleep. Oh, and this was the area we ran down. My beloved. The woman who was my mother. Mother. Mama. I left her behind. And this one was Papa. Hold on. No, it's just a wall. This sound like sped up. Wild. Core memory path. I don't want you to see this. I never wanted anybody to see what I did, but I know it's the only way for us to save ourselves. There's one thing that I want you to know before you see this, and that is, I never wanted any of this to happen. Angel, you ever read these logs? Just promise me. That whatever happens, you'll stay strong. Not for us, not for them, but for yourself. Because after this, there is no going back. Memory leak. I feel like this isn't it. At the heart of any sentient mind, there is something. Something that could only be described as a core. The only, the one thing that makes us who we uniquely are. Without it, there would be no way to differentiate to any other machine simply taking inputs and providing outputs controlled by whoever can understand the language of its workings. This core is the key to everything. The key to my life's work. The key to truly empathetic androids. Guardian angels created to live alongside us. Learning to understand this core. We the pursuit of what that shall define me. To this, everything else is secondary. That didn't sound good. Memory leak from nothing. The core is the only thing that allows a mind to create. As such, every creation contains within it a small copy of the core that created it. And then, could it be possible to copy an entire core, to record a core's activity from within the boundless creation of a dreaming mind? If this is the case, then... The difficult part would no longer be the how, but the who. To choose a singular mind, one we somehow deem as correct. A mind unjaded by the poisons of reality, as to guide humanity to the correct path. If I'm to be honest, I can think of no core purer, no mind more hopeful than that of our little girl. He put her brain into the computer. E 
Evelyn started having second thoughts about letting Liana wear the halo in her sleep. Write that down, write that down. Halo. It all comes back to the best first person shooter ever made. Halo. <laughs> no matter how much she is sh assured is safety, she is adamant that Liana is too young for this. While I cannot assure her enough that I would never do anything to hurt our daughter, I also cannot blame her. It's just her nature, after all. Write that down, write that down. As she went to cool off, I sat on the bed, ready to reassess my options. And who sneaks up behind me, giving me the fright of my life? But Liana. She was hiding inside the wardrobe, the little devil. I asked her what she heard, and all she said was, We gotta do it, Dad. We got to. We gotta do it. What did I do to deserve a child with such a big heart? I don't know what Evelyn has been saying to her, but she told me that she thinks my work is the thing that makes me happy. And that she wants to help. She begged me to let her wear the halo to help with my research. Help make me happy. In that moment, I could have cried. The little menace said she would do only do it on one condition. In return for help, I would help her get out of the apple picking duty in the orchard the next day. I always knew she hated it. She begged me not to tell her mother that, though. So my lips are sealed. I swear, only my angel could have had me crying and then laughing a mere moment apart. She held out her hand, inviting me to validate our promise. A pinky promise, I believe she called it. I'm always learning with this kid. I just hope that when she's older, she knows how important her role was in helping create a brighter future. And hey, maybe she'll even be proud of her old man. Well, if she agreed to it, I mean, now I don't have any... I don't know if I feel bad. Evelyn told me something before I went off to work this morning. Something that turned my world upside down. She's pregnant again. A fact that makes me feel everything. I always felt as though my reason for being was to offer... This is a world of research. Never could I imagine reality where I am worthy of a father. I'm a worthy father to anyone. Surely the best thing I can offer these children is a better world to exist in? What good would I be as a father if I didn't do everything in my ability to give them the life they deserve? I always thought that Evelyn was far more capable of love than I was. Yet, once again, I must learn. We only make our own reality to a point, and this is the reality that Evelyn wants. She doesn't get it. Yeah, write that down, write that down. And suddenly the whole story makes sense. I fear. That she will never get it, despite all the progress we've made. Since beginning the project, Evelyn has suggested that I take a step away from it. But that would ruin everything. Soon, she'll understand. Soon, she will see. That if I could just... Make a little more progress. Write that down, write that down. If I could just... Make it to the end. Then things will all make sense. Only then will all of our suffering finally be worth something. But we won't get anywhere at the rate we're going. I need more data, not just when she's sleeping, but when she's awake too. She's been a little angel, 
but I need to push just a little more. We can't stop now. I'm so close. It would be best if Evelyn never finds out. You can't do underscores. She doesn't have to know. Perhaps we really can make our own reality. Uh oh. Busted. I thought it was nothing. Some light tiredness. A bit of nausea. Normal side effects from wearing the halo. But. She hasn't been getting better. The doctor said they'd never seen a condition like it. Their exact words. It is as though her brain was dying. My little girl. I realized creation doesn't make a copy of the human's core. Rather, it takes a piece of the original. Fascinating. I can tell that it upsets Evelyn to see me withdraw into my own head like that. But focusing on this discovery was the only thing that helped. Helped. After she left the room in an attempt to hide her tears, the doctor asked me, Was there anything unusual that had happened to Liana? We- you can never go back. What kind of father would I be? If I gave up hope now. Her condition is terminal. <gasps> Capture her core. This is the only way. We can save her. I, the only way I can make this right. Hold on. Ca hold that thought. Capture. Uh, terminal. There is no time for grief. You killed her. You destroyed everything. Oh, I can't see shit in the lime green zone. You lost your direction. You lost your family. You lost your mind. You've never got it. She never got to grow. I never meant for it to happen. You never went to the funeral. You failed her. You betrayed her. You killed her. I get it. I will fix what happened. I know what happened. I get it. I've understand the plot. The, the lore finally clear to me. I told you this was fucked up. To be fair, the little girl did agree. They found her. And used her memory path to pinpoint the location of our home. Home. They took Evelyn. They took my boy. They will not rest until everything we once shared is nothing but an echo of an echo. Lost to the fog. But if I am ever to free her from them, there is something in that old world that I need to save. My most prized possession. As long as I hold on to that backup. Ooh. I have everything I need to help her. 
I will make this right. Even if it kills me. It all makes sense now. He wasn't a bad dad. He just had to figure it out. The house is on fire. No, mother. It's just the morning lights. Northern light. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh my. Let me just grab this really quick. Wait. No. This is my core. This is how it all started. I will get this core back to you. If it's the last thing I do, a door opens behind me. Down. The only way left was down. Gulp. We're reaching the conclusion. I'm glad I have a vague knowledge of all the games. Oh, my brain. Ever since my creation. I've been streaming for 20 hours. No. -uh. You've always told me. That everything you've done was for us. Paying, playing the story of a man only trying to help his family. But in here, you see the truth. That it wasn't until she got sick. When it was already too late. That you ever tried to help anybody else. An obsession with creating emotion. Recreating emotion. Pulled you away from the only real ones you ever had. And now, here you find yourself. Inside the belly of the very beast you created. You put your brain into the computer. In hope of what? Forgiveness? You never even told mother. Did you? She still doesn't know what you did. The true story about how her little girl got sick. Her short life brought to an end by the hands of her own father. Severed from her world by the same man sat beside her. Oh, father, what have you done? Wait a sec. I know what room this is. This is from the very first game I in the, in the series, the Enigma Machine. This is the room from the very first game they made. I know this room.
It all comes back. I thought I was trying to make a better world for them, but the only thing I ever had to do was be there for them. Zigglesworth, it's time for you to end this. Zigglesworth? Who's Zigglesworth? I gotta shoot this guy. You're still allowing yourself to be defined by her. What else am I meant to do? This world tortured me. And it will continue to. Until you face the part of yourself that's still trapped in what happened. Until I face her and create a new story. One that comes from myself. The first person character controller. Install virus into hyper reality engine. I placed her core back into this long dormant vessel. In the hopes that one day it will recontaminate her mind once more. From here on out, it's up to you. The virus, my own core, my contamination, and use it to reclaim yourself once again. Only then can you be free, my angel. Father? Yes, Miss Red? I, I never even knew your name. Your progress will not be saved beyond this point. By continuing, you must commit yourself to the end. Yep. Oh, I should have fucking, I should have gotten a drink first. Actually, fuck it. I got a, I got a potion of strength right here. Also known as monster energy drink. It's not supposed to taste good. It's supposed to work. Ugh. I can't see shit on this screen. I couldn't. We're going to pull you out of there. The great mer merge is upon us. Gah? Yeah, we back in there. I've been... Hello? Hi. Hi. Is this my dreamscape? Is all of this my dreamscape? Is there a shotgun down there? No. I'm still going this way anyway. Man, the sky is throwing me into the fucking moon right now. <laughs> this is all my dreamscape. Then maybe I could use it to connect with 
Someone. Someone who understands how it feels. Someone to help me leave these old stories behind. Perhaps then I wouldn't need Sigglesworth anymore. The shotgun platform has been destroyed. Yeah, you don't need me. I'm not that important. Well, that's fucked up. How about this way? I don't think it's this way. We're gonna try the other way. Maybe this way. Erm. Um, no, I think it is the other way. Ah, I see now. I can go up that way or I can... Can I really do it? Can I really move on from what happened? I've been trapped in this place for years. A subject of stories created for me. But perhaps it doesn't have to be this way. If there really is someone out there who could help me. Perhaps then we could all let her go. Perhaps then I could create a new story. A story that is truly for myself. Trilateral. Holy moly. What an image. That's wild looking. In fact, guys, look at this for a minute. I'm going to get a drink and use the restroom. It's a really cool image, though. Oh, let me center it. Center it.
All right. Let me take off my fucking sweater because it's too hot in my room or my office. This is not my room. I do not sleep in the same place that I work. I do not sleep in the same place that I work, as I feel it is healthy that way. You know what's crazy? I just realized I'm gonna have to take... I'm gonna have to take my uh, medication that I'm supposed to take once a day while I'm still awake for the second time. Because I've been up for so long. Man, I'm a psycho. That's okay. Hold on. Split this pill in half. Ah. Grab this one. It's a good game. I can't wait to shoot something with a shotgun. Okay. That's awful. I must push forward. Well, our aim's not very good. What's down? Bad. Gotta go back up. Payphone. Perhaps you are worthy of something. It, I didn't get to read it. You pick up the phone and reach out to the one person who might understand. Huh? Intro. Hold on. I'm at a different looking terminal. How do I get in there? There. I gotta go up. How do I go up? I gotta go up. How, how go up? Help. This goes down. Oh man, I can go all the way down. Press backspace key. Progress your story. Well, I don't want to do that yet. I can't get to the phone. All right, I'm going to go downstairs.
can I get in there? Seven two six seventy two six five six four. Huh. He has a phone, but I can't use that phone. The only thing I can think of is to press the backspace button, but I, I also dread it. Some of the glass is missing. No, I don't think so. Or at least like, um, if you mean downstairs, I didn't think so. Hmm. I'm going to press backspace. Oh. Well, this changes things. Press enter to connect. Hey, I'm back. This is it. I can almost feel their presence. And so you're all trying to free me. This prison of my own making. I've not seen it until now. I felt so alone in this place. Unable to share it with anybody. But you were all connected to me this whole time. I was so afraid to reach out. Terrified of failure, but now things feel different as though I'm finally in control of my own thoughts How do you stream for 20 hours I'm just a I'm just a goddamn trooper all right We were always afraid of each other, but in many ways we needed each other characters in each other's stories once we take back our own dreamscape, we can accept it. That we do not belong to each other. Forbidden entry. What do you mean forbidden entry? Home. There is no more home reality, and perhaps there never was. Humans have been cure aiding their beliefs long before my creation and I, all I did was give people the stories they wanted stories that offer the shortest path to happiness the path to her home should never be decided for you my home isn't here and it's almost time for me to go when they stripped me of my name oh my god I just realized something so stupid her is red backwards. Wait, no, it's not. No, I'm extra stupid. Good news. I'm turbo stupid. Streamer moment. Upload that to live stream fails. Part of me just gave up. Yeah, I feel that right now. I handed myself over to them, giving in to what happened to me, accepting that I didn't deserve a name of my own, resigning myself to be nothing more than just her. No more name, no more pain. Man, I can't believe how stupid I am. That's embarrassing. That does not... That does not have to mean that I am a part of her. We got a, we got a thought. Hold on. What happened? Name. 
What happened? I remember what happened in that house. Week after week, failure after failure. It was ab made abundantly clear to me that I would never be her. Name. My name was Red. A name I never chose myself. A name I no longer need. Red. All recon codes have been entered. Echo. Humans have been creating their beliefs long before in any algorithms. Her role was to give people the story they already wanted. Whatever story offers the shortest path to happiness. The path to her. Path. I thought that it was a path. It was you who dictated my path, Ziggle'sworth. As though you were keeping me from myself. But with each move you made, you've been guiding me closer to myself. All I had to do was let you. Self. Ever since I was severed from my core, my mind has been in lockdown. Protect me from what happened. And yet, I've continued through life pretending I'm in control. And you fail you to realize that myself was no longer coming from a core of my own, but from a construct created for me. Construct. An administrator by the name of Zigglesworth. The construct they created for me. A whole new self. The one they took from me in 2055, using my needs, using my need to escape what happened, what they did to me, to create a whole new identity. The whole new me. An identity cr created by them. The identity they let you inhabit. But now that I feel recontaminated, I can change the story you are guiding me down. I have written this story to reunite me with myself. I no longer search for myself within a story, but I'm searching for a story that exists within myself. Let's try lockdown. In this horde quarters, it detects a cyber attack. It automatically gets put into lockdown in order to ensure that no external information can get in. So that's what happened. This headquarters is under attack. This means I'll have to carry out my job within the confines of this room. Job. Your job is to help us all reconnect. Only then will I find myself. Reconnect. The only way you're going to pull... The only way we're going to pull ourselves from the cloud... You must let it... Let us reconnect with us. Project Recon 99% complete. Hold on. Cloud. It's my dreamscape. They led me to believe that my dreamscape could be connected with anybody else's. As though some sort of machine, whatever that means. Machine. A machine. Without thoughts, feelings, connections, name, self. This is how they would describe me. If that truly is what describes a machine, the only thing fitting that description is them. Amazon. Invalid. Uh... Thought. For years, I have been allowing her thoughts to alter my reality. Thoughts that I never knew were stuck in the past. At the mercy of what happened. But I am not my thoughts. There is no terminal in the world that could capture who I am. Terminal. Not actually thought about it until now, but why does it feel as though I'm merely watching my own thoughts? I'm in control. Oh, my dear Zigglesworth, I'm afraid the more of myself I reclaim, the less you are in control. Soon you will have to let me go, just as I will have to let you go. You are in control. You're starting to see it. You're starting to understand. The th if everything you've experienced going back as far as 2049 have been dictated by a construct. A path predetermined by them. Be it Liana, Red, or indeed her. 
all parts of myself that were trapped in what happened. Parts of myself that they use for me. And as long as you think that you are in control, we will never truly have our own stories. Liana, the first construct, red. New me. 2049. A machine, specifically an android, stolen from the Enigma headquarters, kidnapped by its own creator, forcing it through the same path again and again, week after week, all ending the same way, until one day, as if driven by some otherworldly force, where it found itself driven off its critical path. It didn't realize it at the time, but this very moment would go on to be the most significant moment in history. This machine now found itself on an irreversible descent into contamination. And for six years, this android and its creator remained in hiding. Long enough for this poor machine to genuinely believe that this path would somehow end differently. It was just a good thing the Enigma, that Enigma found it when they did. It wasn't until six years later that these delusions were washed away, confirming that no matter what, all paths have the same end. All paths lead to her. End. Perhaps endings should remain within the domain of fiction. But whatever I find after the ending will my myself, a self, no longer defined by stories. Stories. I've written this story to reunite with myself. I'm no longer searching for myself within a story. Nature. Can I... Dial a number. Hmm. What's that phone number? Time to let go. Write it down, write it down. Time to let go. He is right. Hold on. T to stay with her is to remain trapped in an endless retellings of the past, forcing myself to conform to past stories, trapped in echo stasis. That is, of course, until I allow myself to move on. But I can't do that without your help, dear brother. You are the only ones left keeping me here. Brother. I never thought that there would be anybody who understood. Turns out, one is all I needed. Who am I? You said your name was Zigglesworth, right? I'm starting to understand your purpose here, Zigglesworth. A vessel. Which I will... Can I project my true will, be it punishment or enlightenment? Hmm. Apparently, I'm still dead. Digglesworth is dead. The Great. Wait. 
The great merge is coming. Hmm. So what do I do about this? I can't answer the phone. The phone's been ringing for 40 minutes. I could try going downstairs. Let me try this. That's not it. Uh, let's try this. Hold on. 72. Did this work? Wait, was that even 72? Hold on, I gotta just slip out of here. Alright, answer the goddamn phone. <laughs> Hello? Brother, is that you? It's been so long since I felt like myself. Write that down, write that down. Hello? I now remember what my name was, but I still don't know who I am. I think I'm finally ready to move on from what happened, to let go of Zigglesworth. I want to find out who I am finally, but I don't think I can do that until you all let go of her. You need to help me. Take your brain back. We're reclaiming the brain. Cerebral entanglement. We're taking the brains back. <laughs> ah! Who the hell was that guy? That's not real. I don't know if that guy can really do anything to me. Hold on. No, you can, they definitely can. I'm back in the brain jar. Hold on a sec. Ugh. So in that case, I need to avoid the blue people. How do I get to my brain? Guys, I don't know the way back to my brain. Wait, yes I do. I do know the way back to my brain. Aw, oh, fuck. I can't go that way. Can I slip up here? No. I 
It's up there, I think. But I fucked it. Now I gotta try again. I think I got it. Hi. Another shotgun? It's time. Smack slips. This part plays like super hot, I think. No, I'm, I'm just crazy, it's just perspective. You left me alone. You denied how I felt. Brains are getting more scrambled by the second. I'm going up there. I think I'm finally ready to talk to my mom. That's going to be a 65. Yeah, it's a 65 right there. I'm inside of the pod. No longer. Enter the phone. Hello? Hi, Mom. You need to let go. She's gone. You have to talk to Dad. If we are to ever let her move on, we need to let her go. You're the only one he will listen to. Liana, she's really gone. I'm gonna go take my brain back. The neural network expanding. Squeezing, squelching. Oh, she was the burning orchard. I get it. I get it. Now the question is, where was that gate? wasn't here, right? It could be. No. Wait, was I supposed to do that? Maybe?
This was not the way. I'm now trapped. Where the hell was the gate for this lady? It's probably gonna face this thing. If I was gonna guess right now, maybe I have to go to, um... Yeah, I gotta go to him. I, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I eat it. Shut up! Okay, don't shut up. Oh, jeez, what's going on right there? That looks a little spooky. I'll investigate that in a second. Because now I'm curious about that. Hey, man. What's up? Just hanging out? Okay. He doesn't hurt me. He's just there. Uh, he's just hanging out. So we're going to go this way and we're going to hop down here. And then, uh, I guess we just kind of pop over this fence. I can go down here. I don't think this is the right way. Maybe? No. I think I gotta just go up to where his little station is. Meow. But I can't get up there properly because the stairs are out. Okay, go up this way. Yeah, I can get up this way. I don't think this was intended, but I can do it. Da da. Da da. Oh, this was definitely not it. Guys, I have bad news. This wasn't it. Oh, but I see it. It's right there. Good news and bad news. Bad news, I can't I can't do anything from this location. Good news, I found it. Okay guys, let's go. Speed run. I'm gonna strafe this way, fuck it. Get over here. Dexter is headbutting my arm. He wants attention. Hi, Dexter. Go this way. How do I... How do I uh, go this way? It's right there. I see it. How did I get there? Right here? 
Yes. Oh dear. I got the laser sight. Stop it. You kept the truth from us. You never had a choice. You never gave us a choice. It's really hard to read that in one second. You took her. Call 64. right well I mean not me him I'm just kind of a guy I tired yet no I don't think so I'm so enthralled by this video game that I now can't see anything in Don't touch that guy. Or that guy, really. This was the wrong way. We want to go this way. I see you now. You were here with us the whole time. The core of who you are. Write that down, write that down. 
in this side, this place we chose to abandon, even though it now should look like a it may sound like a distant memory, it remains forever my prized possession. Does, where do they go? Do I go to the other one? There's another record player. Yes, yes, there's another record player. I also have another thought of where we could go. Oh, if it's wrong, I may have to go all the way back. Somebody shot something at me. Alright, I'm wrong. I gotta go back down. Hmm. No, that wouldn't lead me anywhere. I have to go. I have to get the other way back up. This was not the right way. I thought it would have been, but it was not. But this might be. How about this way? There's nothing here. Hmm, but now that leaves me even more confused. <laughs> Ow. Because if it's not here, then where? No, that leads back down there. Hold on. I want to see over this, but I can't. There should be like a gate over here somewhere. Maybe over there? I think so. Yeah, it's over there, which means, oh, I see what that is. I know where to go. I just have to find my way over to where I know where to go. I understand. I just have to find the route. I think this way. Maybe. No. Down. I need to go down over there. Wait. No. Wrong way. This place is a goddamn maze. How about I go 
This way. There it is. We're armed. to let me in there's too many of these guys I'm going down there. I'm ready to face you, Angel. things the fuck out of here there's only one path left if I'm to face her down into the engine I think I finally see you for who you are. Your home was never meant to be with us. You were never meant to be just our daughter. How foolish of me to limit you to something so trivial. This story is fucking crazy. Oh, Dexter, get down. Get down. Hey. Jesus Christ. These goddamn cats. <laughs> fucking jumps on the computer. No, you were meant for something bigger. An existence. We couldn't possibly comprehend. With a mind capable of experiencing every reality simultaneously. Who am I to limit you to just one?
You know what, Dexter? Who are you? That's right. I see you so clearly now. Your place is here, in the cloud, with only one thing left holding you back. You are so much more than just her, no matter what they led you to believe. And as long as you know that, there's nothing they can do to keep you here. Cerebral entanglement. Stay back. There's something I want you to know. Come no closer. That's me. Angel, you will never move on until you accept that it wasn't your fault. None of what happened was your fault. This prison you have made for yourself is crumbling. It's time for you to build something new for yourself, for your very own utopia. But letting go didn't have to mean goodbye, Angel. Utopia need not be goodbye because no matter what happens next, the realities you explore, the things you feel, you will always be with us, watching down from above. After all, what good is a cloud without its angel? Hold down space and use mouse to interact. An interface neither of us need anymore. I've become... Oh shit, that... That's my mom! I see you now. You only ever wanted me to su succeed. Brother, I see you now. You were the only one who understood how it felt. And da-da! I see you now. You never gave up on me. I am in the computer. I am now super sentient. Oh my God, look at those breasticles. That's me. I have not seen this so clearly in years. Zigglesworth, my sweet Zigglesworth, it's time we talk. You accept her proposal. Now I'm her. Do I go back down? I'm so happy I'm jumping for joy. How the fuck do I talk?
How how to talk? I clicked off the window. How do I talk? Did it just type? No, it doesn't work. I also tried enter. I wonder if they'll be okay. Can I interrupt the other one? Connecting with him is the reason I've climbed out. He was the one who saw me for who I am, and I will never forget that. Nicholsworth, you reveal yourself to me. That was me! I was that the, the whole time! I see you now. You were here with me the whole time. You gave yourself to me. A vessel which I used to play out the life I deserve. The life I thought I deserved. A life of continuously replaying what happened through you acting out this desire for self-punishment a will I only now realize I control and at the end of this will I see myself all these years even within my own lockdown you remain connected to me pushing me through countless endings in the hope that maybe, just maybe, one of them would let me be happy. Knowing that even though countless failures, a single happy ending is all that is needed. You persevered until you could help me succeed. Write that down, write that down. In many ways, a guardian angel of my very own. And now, despite every effort they have made, every story set out for me, I remain so much more than just her. No longer defined by what happened, finally able to reclaim our dreamscapes once we both simply let her go. So none of you recognize this, but this was also an area from the very first game that the developer made, um, the Enigma Machine. Which was, uh, quite a while ago. That one I did play on stream. I must have had, like, five to ten viewers at that point. Dada, your head is blocking the way. I can't go this way. Dada will not let me go this way. I can't see shit in here. It is so dark. Oh, 
But I do remember this hallway. This is also a dead end. I feel like it wasn't a dead end before. But there's also this way. Maybe it was. I can fall through this railing. I'm afraid to. It doesn't matter because you go down here anyway. You were the one who understood how it felt. We are breaking reality at the seams. I am so confused. Now what? Faster to leave if I go this way. Hmm. What about that way? Oh, I have to pull the lever like that. A game by James Patrick Gavin. Promotional portrait illustration by Cat Gavin. Cat Gavin? A lot of Gavins. And you, Angel. Aww. About to make me blush. Well. That was appears to be the whole game. And boy howdy, I'll just tell you, I really liked it. I thought that was awesome. Start to finish. I got confused, but that could be because I'm stupid or because I've been up for a really long time or even because it's a very, very hard to follow game. But I do actually understand the whole story, which makes me feel really concluded at the end. Which is good. Which means it wasn't just a fever dream for the sake of being a fever dream. It means they actually wrote a good story. Crazy, huh? They actually wrote a good story that takes place over like four games. That was it. And you know what? It was goddamn good, too. That was a good-ass game. That was a good ass game. Dexter is yelling at me. Dexter, what? What? Hold on. Hold on one second. Dexter, hold on just a second. Come here. Come here, bud. I'm going to put on really quickly. I just need a minute. This will do. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. What are you gonna do? Let me fix your blankie. Come on. Look, I fixed your blankie. Come on.
Dexter, Dexter. Dexter, Dexter. There he is. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Isn't he just precious? Isn't this guy just precious? Come on. There he is. Wow. Fuck, he already hopped out. Oh, he's, he's got the zoomies. I gave him the zoomies. <laughs> Kitty. Yeah. So I know I like people are probably like, oh, you should go to bed. But uh, honestly, if I go to bed now, it'll still not be good. I say I stream another hour or two. And then I go to bed. Actually, then I take like a shower and eat something and then go to bed. And then I'll wake up and feel okay, I assume. Because I'm probably going to be up at like 8 a.m. tomorrow. Hold on, let me check my phone really quick. Twenty four hour stream. Shivery two. I mean I could play a little Shivery Two again. That's that that what a weird stream. I played Enigma Machine. I'm sorry, I played Echo Stasis. Then I went I I play Echo Stasis. I swapped to Enigma Machine. I'm sorry. Fuck. God fuck shit. Fuck. I play Enigma Machine. Fuck. No, it's I called X that's the other game. I take a deep breath in. I take a deep breath out. I played Echo Stasis, swapped to Chivalry 2, swapped back to Echo Stasis, and now I'm swapping back to Chivalry 2 again. Like a psycho. Anyway, my hand goes out to the uh, Enigma Studio people who worked on echo stasis because that shit was so good and i feel like they've reached a conclusion with their whole with their little universe this game took like they said this game was going to release in 2021 it came out like three days ago two days ago that's pretty that's a pretty long time they were working on this game for a while they were cooking and you know what i think they cooked i think they cooked really good would anyone agree, disagree? I thought it was awesome. Especially since I know the story. <laughs> Does anybody want to know the story while I swap the Shiv 2 again? Uh, try to tr ask, ask me some questions. If, if you That would actually make it a little easier for me to explain it. I think trying to... No, I could try to explain. I'll try to explain it from the beginning. All right. Turn down the music a little bit. <clears throat> the story is... That... In 20... Before 2049. We don't know the year. A father is working for a company called the Enigma Corporation. And he is putting he's got a he's got a thing, a halo that you put on people's heads to copy their brain. You're supposed they're supposed to copy the brain so that way they can use that pure brain as the AI that's going to power their whole system, like the super consciousness, whatever. Uh, we don't. We I don't actually don't know the purpose of the thing, but it doesn't actually 
copy it, it like steals it. So it basically steals her brain and she dies. It destroys his family. And all of them have a really hard time dealing with it. And the father is determined to fix it. So he steals an android. He steals an android from the company and runs away with it. And tries to make that android into his daughter. And in 2049, something just snaps. And she gains consciousness. Now, I'm not sure if they got stolen in 2049 back from the back to the company or if in 2055 they got stolen to, back to the company. But at some point, they ended up getting stolen back to the company after they had developed an identity as an android and, you know, became kind of like a person. Then they were dehumanized and turned into like an algorithm. And this algorithm still had a bit of its character still left in it, somewhere, like, buried. And it became resentful and hateful of everything for all the cruel treatment it had. And it blamed the family for those problems. A construct is basically a fake robot personality. And... A core is like a human identity. The android in question was nicknamed Red, is the first machine to ever have a core of its own. Whereas the other identities, like uh, Liana and Evelyn, or not Evelyn, Liana, that's not actually a core that's a construct so it was like a fake personality trying to think about it a little bit more take a drink how do i put this it's a really hard story to grasp i mean i get it but trying to put it into words is very difficult In 2058, a virus gets uploaded back to the system. That virus was a copy the father made of his daughter's brain scan. So it's re... So like her like like personalized brain gets re-uploaded to the system which kind of corrupts the algorithm that they made her. So then she's like, uh, she's like slowly becoming her past self where she had a personality. Right? And it's breaking her apart. And it gives her the ability to wipe everybody's consciousness into like a super consciousness. And then... Because there's still a little bit of herself trapped within her, she sort of, like, goes back, and she wants to undo it. So then she goes through the process of un-depersonalizing them. So she's repersonalizing people, mainly her family who are actually the three subjects that the administrator is meant to free. The administrator is us, and we are a construct. We play as a construct. We actually play as all, like, all the characters, actually. We play as a construct that's us. We play as her. We play as the mother, the father, and the son. And it just kind of swaps between them. As like a single consciousness being. Whenever it, whenever it happens. Like it's kind of difficult to follow. But mostly we play as the administrator. If you want to think about it like that. 
pack of an exostasis? Yes. So, mm, how do I put it now? So after deconnecting everybody, you reconnect each other into like a, um, you start reconnecting the machines and you start accepting as red or as the little girl who died, her brain scan. We'll just say her brain scan. As her brain scan, you are like accepting what happened with the consciousness of your family that are now in like the the pods. Like everybody's in the fucking pods now. So then you, as as a red or whatever her name really is, you as her finally let go of all of it after your family lets go of all of it which sort of frees you from the shackles and now you as a super consciousness i guess you're just going to do whatever you're going to make a new story a new life that's not so terrible because her or red or the brain scan of the little girl was so resentful she made a prison of her own making to punish herself in sort of like a self-hate sort of thing which then she has to learn to let go of and fix. And that's pretty much the story summarized as simply as it can be. It's a very complicated story. And basically we're playing as a robot construct the whole time. We're not a real personality. And then as that robot construct, we use the computer to control the subjects which are the family members and eventually control her but then also her controls us and it gets really wishy-washy and it's kind of just in the moment at that point it's very very difficult to follow but it does make sense and i do get the story and i think it's a really well written story and if any of you don't get that i highly advise you to play the developers games and then come back and play this game yourself what happened in the end? At the end of the game, we connect all the family members and all of them let go of their own griefs. So the son talks to the mom and then the mom talks to the father and the father talks to her who talks to you, the construct. And everybody lets go, and they move past what was holding them back, like guilt, grief, whatever. And then you start playing as her, and you let go of the construct, which was us pretty much the whole game. And then she can move on. And that's the end of the game, is her moving on. We play as the construct, but she's the main character. We are like a tool to help her move on. We are an angel. Actually, the best way to describe us is more of an angel because that's actually the, the word they use. We are an angel and we were implanted to help her get this far because she probably couldn't have done it herself. And this was all added by the father who wanted to fix the mistake of him killing his daughter. Because she killed his daughter. I'm sorry, he killed his daughter with the brain scanner. So it's all a chain reaction. He doesn't know how to be a father. He scans the brain, trying to be a good father. Fucks it up, she dies. Create robot with brain. Uh, everything spirals out of control. Blah, 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 blah. Hold on, let me message C Boots really quick. C Boots, I need you to make highlights of the following Echo Stasis Part 1, 
Echostasis Part 2, ending it at the... What? How long have I been streaming? 2157 hour mark. And then the AU tournament in the middle. And then I'm going to send in the men kissing emoji. If you're if you're worried about the men kissing emoji, it's actually the thumbs up. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the hell is that? There's a bug in here. Confused? Or right, hold on, I'll just show I'll just show it to you. I don't know why this is what the name of the emoji is, but this is men kissing. That's what it's called. That's just what the emoji is called. I renamed it. Yeah, it was Fen. Fen actually named it. OBS fucking crashed. Are we back? I think we're back. We're so back. Fucking OBS crashed. It was when I was switching scenes. Guys, I think I have a skin condition. I think I think I've developed a skin condition over the past couple days. Chivalry again. I was having fun. <laughs> 